and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm to take you around our Pajero VRX 2013 MY14. Now this car is definitely a standard example. I thought it was actually a lot newer. The condition of the car you're going to be very, very amazed at. And someone spent quite a lot of money on this car. Hopefully the microphone isn't getting too beaten up by the wind today. But let's go for a wander. At the start we've got the Iron Man 4x4 bull bar on the, on the car as well. Do have a light bar, really good for lighting up the night there as well. One thing to note about this bull bar, it does look like it is winch compatible by the looks of it's got a big hole down there, so I'd say it would be. Obviously got the big upper hoops for protection of the front. We do have a bonnet protector on this car which has done a brilliant job. It's not a single stone chip or nick on the front of the car. The nice big updated headlights as well. Do have fog lights and indicators down in the bar as well. Nice to see. Coming down the side, something just changes the look of the car straight away. We've got the factory LO wheels fitted with Mickey Thompson Baja uh, STZ tyres and a huge amount of tread in there. Can fit half my finger in the tyre there. A really good, long lasting, good brand name tyre. Coming down the side of the car, no signs of shopping trolley dents or nicks. One of the good things about Pajero's, they had the big slab of plastic down the side. So if a trolley was to hit it, you only cop that, not the paint. So no sign of any damage down the side of the car does have privacy glass at the back, isn't tinted at the front, I'd probably recommend matching them up because the white and black does look really good. Coming down the side to the back of the car now, we have the factory uh, Dunlop AT20 tyre on the back. There you go. Uh, really good condition tread on the back of that. Uh, really good condition alloy wheel there as well. Coming around to the back of the Pajero VRX now, we have uh, a lot to talk about. We've obviously got a reversing camera up here, reversing sensors. We do have the three ton tow rated uh, tow hitch down there with the flat pin plug of course. We do have a Baja STZ tyre on the back of this car as well. Okay, open the tailgate, let's have a look in here. At the back of this Pajero now presents really, really well. In the door you've obviously got a little nook here, which if it opens up, there you go, you've got uh, room for an umbrella or a medical kit, things that you sort of need in a car. In the back we've got it set as a seven seater at the moment, a little hint to the future part of this video is leather throughout. Um, pretty simple process, knocking that down, knocking that down, pulling that out. You do get that storage space, so when the seat is folded up, you do gain a lot of storage space. You do have the option of opening these covers and pulling two pins out, and you can remove the whole seat completely and gain the top and bottom storage. Or you can just grab the little lever there, pop it down, keep the versatility of a seven-seater if you need it for when the grandkids or the children are there. And you've got a big, big boot and a five-seater. Do have a 12-volt socket there, do have three child seat anchor points down the back, cargo tight ends everywhere. One thing to note, we also do have the roof mounted uh, climate control for all three rows. A big difference to the old Pajeros there. Shut the tailgate. Coming down the passenger side of the vehicle, this is a vehicle you can't, sorry, this is a side you commonly see damage if there was to be any, and none of that here. Yet again, we've got the factory Dunlop AT20 rear tire on it, brilliant condition wheel there. Uh, coming down the side of the car, I'm struggling to see even a scratch or a nick, even on the side step. So it does look like, I can't even find any evidence of off-road use on this car. Really good clean car. Coming up to the last of the wheels, no sign of gutter rash or scratching or anything on the wheel. Yet again, a really good condition Mickey Thompson ATZ, sorry, STZ tyre there as well. So around the exterior, this car presents really well. And like magic, we're up the front of the Pajero now. Let's talk about the engine in this car. Brilliant, brilliant for towing. If you're planning to pull your caravan around the country, definitely the ideal vehicle for that. You are looking at a four cylinder 3.2 litre in direct inject intercooled turbo diesel. What all those words mean is 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton meters of torque, going through a five speed automatic transmission, four by four of course. Out of this big car, you're gonna get nine litres per hundred on the average. Out of a cheap to fill 88 litre tank, you're gonna get 978 kilometres of average driving range. All right, inside the Pajero now, it's such a comfortable place to be. These vehicles are made to tour and be, do big distances and a brilliantly comfortable car. Um, I'm just gonna turn the heated seat on for a moment and um, let's get into this. All right, steering wheel, leather wrapped, nice and clean, no sort of marks or scratches on it. Oh, sorry, a little one just there. Um, but overall really, really clean, no scratches or anything on the center. Cruise control on the right, we've got our media control on the left, and of course Bluetooth phone and voice control down there. Little latch underneath it, you can adjust it for height on the Pajero, just set it to the top and nice and easy to get in and out of the car. 
On the left side of the, of the steering wheel, we have automatic front wipers. Of course, just leave them on and um, just basically adjust how severe you want them to come on. Rear wiper, of course. Right hand side of the steering wheel, automatic headlights on this car. Do remember they do come on at night time, but in the rain you might want to turn them on. This car is fitted with one Mitsubishi key. We have a little switch here, obviously, for the light bar at the front. Down here we've got our mirror controls, obviously left, right, and everything like that. A um, little button there that will uh, fold them in, which is nice in a car park. One thing to note with the Pajeros is if you hit the lock button on the remote three times, they fold in, and obviously the other way around, unlock three times, they open up. Great for car parks. We have a front fog light, obviously brilliant if you're driving through fog, and a rear fog light if you're in the snow or something like that. Um, on the driver's door here, we have four-door power windows, door lock and window lock to stop my camera and playing with all the buttons back there. One thing to note for the height challenge among us, I don't usually bring this up, but it was recently mentioned to me last night in my four-wheel drive, it does have a um, grab handle and front and rear, making getting in and out of the Pajero a much easier process. In the center here, We've got a dashboard, obviously. 110 kilometers dead in the center where it should be. Little screen in the center showing the car has currently got 102,000 kilometers on this vehicle and it's currently set to rear wheel drive. And then taco on the right, of course. Over and into the center, Mr. Lin. Lin's our cameraman for those sitting viewing at home. We've got our center control system here. It's got the time, which is wrong. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, it's currently 12 degrees, which is probably about right. Um, and you can scale through, you can go elevation. So if you go for a trip up to, you know, Dargo or the high country, you can see how high you've gotten, which is nice. Barometer, quite useful to know if it's about to bucket rain on you. It's not 2006. And you do have the option to turn it off completely if um, you want to. A button here to test all the indicators at the same time. Getting into the update of the Pajero, obviously we did get a big update in the audio system and navigation. Currently showing our super secret location here at 20-32 Kangan Drive here in Berwick. I gave it away again does have a little Mitsubishi symbol there. That's quite nifty, actually. Obviously, navigation, quite easy to use. Berwick train station there, Monash freeway there, easy to get to our location. Do have audio, of course. If you're listening to radio and you do go touring, station list there will scan for all the t new local stations. Great if you're going, you know, a couple of hundred kilometers from home and the radio starts dropping out. But you can fix that problem completely by hitting mode. Um, you've got AM, FM, you've got the USB, of course, but the, this is my favorite one. Put music on your iPad or iPhone and have uh, Pandora, Spotify, audiobooks, all of that can be played through here. A really good option to have, especially in the traffic. Coming down from there, we have our climate control system. Pretty simple, automatic, how hot you want it, how much fan you want it, where you want it, and of course that rear climate control option I was talking about before. Coming across this way, has had a System 9 Bluetooth unit fitted to the vehicle. Some uh, older Android phones aren't compatible with the Mitsubishi system. It's very, very rare, some of the odd brand ones, but you mostly your big brand, your Samsungs and your iPhones generally do work. Over to the right here, we do have a um, couple of buttons, traction control off, useful if you're on something like sand. Um, parking sensor off, useful if you've got your trailer hooked up and you don't want the car to think you're crashing into yourself. And of course, our electronic brake controller. Gone are the days of the big Taconchi unit, the Red Arc unit, so much simpler, you can just sit it there and adjust it as need be. Um, coming back across, Mr. Lim, I'll move the shifter out of the way. Under here, we've got a little spot for a box. We've also got a spot for a business card holder, very Japanese. Down from there, as you can see, I've got my heated seat on at the moment. If you've got a sore back, the best thing you can have on in the morning makes your morning so much better. Behind here, we've also got 12 volt socket hidden away in there. Um, pop it into reverse and the camera there, obviously we just had the car washed, so the camera's got a bit of water on it, but he's actually really good. If you pop the tow bar in, it's pretty easy to see it and line your caravan up. Pop it into D there, D for drive, pretty simple. But if you're feeling, say if you've got your caravan, you hit a big hill, you can knock it into sports mode and lock it into third or fourth gear and just power up the hill because you're never going to be that guy doing 40 up a hill in a Pajero. Um, coming over here, my camera is getting ahead of me now, which is good. We've got two high. We're going to drive it most of the time for fuel economy, dry days. You have four high, which you can pop it into there in wet weather or dirt roads just to get the added stability. Four high locked center is where you'd be on sort of your, your uh, gravel bush tracks where you don't really want to be in low range. You're still going to be traveling at some speed. And then four low locked center is you're pretty much off road at that point and you're crawling along. In four low locked center, you also have the option of a rear diff lock, which is a great get out of free, get out of jail free card. I use it in my car often, and you'll just walk past your old GU patrols and things that are struggling along. Makes the combo really, really easy. Coming back from there, a nook for your wallet or phone. Two big cup holders, of course. In the armrest here, we have a button that brings it forward for a nice armrest. 
bring that back, lift it open, carpeted little container there for all the many things. And then another one down there which has the um, MMCS uh, CD in there, which is nice to see, program disc. And we've also got our 12 volt socket there to charge your phone. Going to get my camera to zoom around the interior now. You will see partial leather in this vehicle. We do have leather on the side and sort of a micro suede trim in the middle. Are uh, heated in the front seats, of course. We don't have floor mats at the, at the, in this vehicle, but the carpets present very, very well. Camera and zooming around to the back. One thing you'll notice, camera and come back this way, this way. You'll notice the rear does have control of their air conditioning setup as well, which is a nice thing to have, both um, temperature and fan. Now my camera can resume what he was doing and show you the back seats. As I said, partial leather again, but a lot more leather at the back, which is nice. And the third row seat is leather as well. Roof lining presents quite good, actually. A couple of very minor marks, but overall very, very good. Uh, and the smell of the car, because a common question I get asked is the smell, is it a smoker's car or anything like that? Uh, no odd smells in this vehicle either. So definitely brilliant condition on the inside. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2013 Pajero GLX. As you've seen, heavily optioned at the front with bull bars, light bars, your tow kit, your electronic brake controller, and everything you need to hook up your van and go for your next family tour. Do be very quick for this car. Give us a call, 9907 0555. But before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five-year extended mechanical protection plan we do offer on this vehicle, which now includes 10 years of roadside assistance as well. That number again, 9907 0555, and thank you for watching.